I've had a whole bunch of people. Hey, Glendon, Joe Biden gonna get you. Joe Biden's tax plan gonna get you. And we're gonna discuss Joe Biden's plan and how it's not going to impact 95% of America. It's not. Like, if you're making 30, 40, 50, 60, even $100,000 a year, don't even worry about it because it's kind of like this Corporation Transparency Act. People are like, hey, how does this affect corporate citizens? Unless your corporation's making $5 million and you have more than 20 employees, it ain't going to even touch you. So we're going to talk about that and more in this video because so many people are worried about a boogeyman that ain't coming. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about me. I pay myself an income of $360,000 a year from my corporation, which is kind of nudging into the Joe Biden's tax, I'm gonna get you sucker plan, right? It's kind of it's kind of aiming there, right? So essentially, 5% of the country makes like 70% of the income. So you, you gotta understand why Joe Biden is going after people like me. He's going after people like me because we have the money. Essentially, I mean, I'm not trying to brag or boast, but I still have a lot of money in my personal checking account from when I get paid because I ain't spent it. And this is one of the common attributes of people who make a lot of money it comes in faster than they can spend it so this is why he's going after people like me and like I, i've had a whole bunch of you like joe biden's gonna get you man he's gonna get you I, i've never had so many people who were so happy to deliver bad news to me it was very very interesting but essentially if you are a part of 95% of America, Joe Biden's tax plans are not going to mess with you, not going to disturb your life, anything. And also, I have a question for you. For those of you who felt that you benefited greatly under Trump's tax cuts, really? How much money did Trump tax cuts put into your pocket? For me, Reduce the corporate thing, you know, the corporate tax. Hey, you know, it worked for me. So essentially, you, you got to understand how the game is played. Because let's talk about taxes. Because, you know, I, I had posted on the community section about my, you know, I'm going to pay on my $360,000 salary, I'm going to pay about $120,000 in taxes. Or I could elect to contribute to a 401k and save myself $8,000. So I would pay, you know, $8,000 less in taxes. You know, that's not really a big thing for me as uh, the way that I put it. But essentially, I had people who were like, well, Glendon, I, I thought the whole port of creating an S corporation wasn't to pay any taxes. Let me explain something to you guys. Because a lot of you guys don't understand the game. You can dramatically lower taxes, but you cannot eradicate taxes unless you take a substantial loss. If you're taking multi-millions dollars of year losses, then this can offset your income gained. That's how you play that game. But you cannot get into a situation where you're paying absolutely zero, no taxes. You gotta pay some taxes. So I'm playing the game. On my salary side, I'm gonna pay a heavy roll of taxes. I'm gonna pay so much taxes that at the halfway point of the year, they're gonna stop taking uh, social security taxes out of my check because there's a limit to that. But the other payroll taxes will continue on. So I'm playing this game, understand. And this is how I'm not worried about Joe smiling, uh, Biden, I'm not worried about Camilla Harris. I'm not worried. Because essentially, those who understand the tax game have already planned for this. Because essentially, what I teach in my corporate toolbox, I teach you how to build a holding company. 
I teach you how to create operating companies. I teach you how to start and set up the companies. And I teach you how to make them tax efficient. So essentially, on my income last year, I'm going to pay. I might actually get some money back because of all of the deductions that I have. I have so many deductions. I have so many offsets of my income. So I'm not worried about Joe uh, smiling Biden. I'm not worried about Camilla Harris. I'm not worried about the Democrats because essentially when you set up your business the correct way and you make it tax efficient, then essentially the only way that Joe Biden is going to be able to get me is they got to change the whole tax code and the whole business deductions, business allocations. Like I created a company, Mac Daddy Assets, which is a leasing company to lease my car and house to my YouTube business. Right? So that's a massive, that's, that's, that's six figures of tax deductions right there. I've turned liabilities into assets because they're going to get me and there ain't nothing I can get audited and they can do all this other stuff. There's nothing they can do because see, once you become a corporate citizen, you take charge of your life. Like, yes, I have to buy my own health insurance. It's like my whole, my health insurance is like 500 bucks a month. I have to pay for that, right? I have to buy my own dental. I have to have provide for my own vacation. I have to, but I'm taking 100% control over my life. I'm taking 100% control of my life as a corporate citizen. And because I've taken this control, I've opened the door to options and strategies and situations that are just not available to you. Like, you know, I, I talked about I was going to start trading Forex and I've got too much to do with the corporate toolbox and things I got on the agenda to, for me to move my time to learning how to do Forex. That actually would probably cost me money doing that. So I'm not going to do that. But about this summer, I'm going to start trading and I've created a trading company. And let me go ahead and give you the game on the trading company because I got a lot of people who are asking about the trading company. It's like, Glennon, I know you're not going to do the Forex, but you know, can you, can you, can you? Essentially, you got folks out here who are trying to run before they're walking. First of all, I go ahead and I create a brokerage account for Mac Daddy trades. And in that brokerage account, I make some bad trades and I suffer $30,000, $40,000 in losses. Since I am trading under a corporate entity, all of those losses are tax deductible. Did you hear me? All of those losses are tax deductible. See, we're not playing the same game. You're playing the, I want to keep it low key. I don't want to cause too much tinge to myself. I want to keep it under wraps and I don't want to do too much. And you're playing the low expectation, low execution game. And I'm playing the high expectation, high execution game. And you're going to pay more taxes than I will proportionally. And this is the thing, because $120,000 in taxes on $360,000 salary, it seems like a lot, but proportionally, that is like 12% or maybe 8% of my income, 8%. So proportionally, I'm going to pay less taxes than you are because I am playing the corporate citizen game because this opens up so many deductions. Like this car is a corporate car. I'm doing this YouTube video in the corporate car. This 2019 Porsche 911 S is a write-off. And I'm driving around chatting with you guys here on the YouTubes and I am saving money on this car. Whereas if you went out and you bought a Porsche, it would not be 
a tax deduction because you would buy it under your name, you would uh, not have a company, and you would just be losing money. So I could, you know, essentially, I've just, it, since I don't really drive that much, it makes more sense for me to lease the car to the corporation. So once again, I'm not worried about Joe Biden. A lot of people like Joe Biden, Joe Biden, he gonna get you, boy. He gonna get you, he gonna, no, he ain't gonna get me. He gonna, he may, he'll get you before he gets me. Because see, one of the things that is very um, opportunistic is you can become a corporate citizen and you can start playing this game. Because essentially, as long as you are an average American playing the average American tax strategy of hoping. All right, you saw me coming. This big old red car, I know you saw me coming, but you're playing the average American tax game of looking for all the little deductions, trying to claim, you know, Babu and some other phantom children and all this other stuff. And essentially, here's the, the conversation we need to have, you and I. America was built for corporations. America was not built for average people. Let me say that again. America was built for corporations. America was not built for average people doing average things and doing ordinary things. It wasn't. And I know that you don't want to have the stress of creating a company, hiring employees, uh, building a customer base, creating sales, keeping up with QuickBooks, uh, keeping up with your corporation, making sure your corporation fees are paid, make sure your taxes are paid. You don't wanna do all that. You just wanna kick back and chill. And you know what? America, you can do that. If you wanna do that, you can do that, but the thing is, you're not gonna get the benefits of being a corporate citizen. Because I'm here to tell you, uh, right now, uh, Nomad Capital, uh, he's talking about people, a lot of people are thinking about giving up their citizenship because they're paying too much in taxes. You don't have to give up your citizenship. You have to deploy a corporate citizen strategy because essentially, I, I had someone email me the other day. It's like, you know, I got the S Corp, you know, and um, but I'm still getting hit upside the head for these these taxes because I got the S Corp, and I, I and he's someone enrolled in the corporate stu, uh, corporate toolbox. And we had a conversation, and I asked him, "Do you have yourself on salary?" And he said, "No." See, this is one of the things that you guys have got to understand. You got to cross your T's. You got to dot your I's. You got to play this game correctly. Now, this is one of the reasons. Like, let's go ahead and just talk about this. I put myself on salary. If I was to get some of that EDL money or that PPP money, I can take that money and pay my salary since that's already in place. See, this is one of the things. So many people are scrambling, trying to figure out how to get this money because they're not properly set up from the get-go. And they're playing games and they're like, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to create a holding company, man. I got to keep up with all that. I don't want to keep up with all that, man. I don't, I don't really want to keep up with all that. So essentially, because they don't want to play the game correctly and then they want to listen to all of these YouTubers talking about buying H corporations and trying to cheat the system. And I'm here to tell you, H corporation is not going to work. It's just not going to work for what people are trying to make it do because there's laws in place called know your customer that banks have to abide by. So when that corporate ownership changes, the bank's gonna be make you requalify if that company has credit products, cash credit products, your visas, your MasterCards, your lines of credit, they're gonna make you requalify for that. So you're not gonna be inherent that, because if you did, that could be constituted as fraud. So one of the things that I want you guys to understand is 
don't worry about making money. Well, actually, you should worry about making money. You should worry about making money. Don't worry about paying taxes. You should worry about making the money and then executing the strategies so you can save more money on your taxes. Because like I said, so many people hit me up, Joe Biden gonna get you, Joe Biden gonna get you. And I'm like, Joe Biden gonna get you. He ain't gonna get me because of the way that I've layered this, the way that I've set this up, and the young man that he was part of corporate, you know, I was like, you gotta put yourself on salary because here's the game. Once you put yourself on salary and then take the rest of your compensation as dividends, then that reduces your tax load 17.5%. That right there. And then there are other strategies where you don't even show net income, which reduces your income because um, I gotta start working on my taxes. Um, I am looking forward to filing my taxes because all the strategies, and I'll be discussing these strategies in the corporate toolbox that I have put out that essentially has kept me from harm's way. I'm not in harm's way. I'm not worried about taxes. And also playing the game. Because I put myself on salary, I get a W-2, already got my W-2. And this also, let's say I do something a little crazy, right? but I pay taxes. So the most that can happen to me is an audit. I don't have to worry about going to jail because some of you, some of you are gonna go to jail. Some of you are gonna get caught up in harm's way because you're trying not to pay any taxes. You gotta pay some taxes, okay? You're a United States citizen. I don't care if you live in, in Paris, They, Uncle Sam wants a portion of your income even if you're living in Paris because you are a United States citizen and you got to pay uh, United States taxes and you got to pay uh, France taxes because you're living in France and making money in France so you know one of the things that you got to understand is this no tax thing like I, I give you a situation where you would pay no taxes let's say you were in real estate and you suffered massive losses to the tune of 50 million dollars and you can use those losses to offset income for a few years. So let's say, you know, you lost 50, then the next three years you made 50. That's a net net loss. So you wouldn't pay any taxes on that 50 because you've lost 50, but you lost 50,000. That hurts. Unless you play this game. And this, this is one of the games I'm playing with my corporation. And this is a lesson I learned from a landlord. My landlord, he built all of his warehouses. So these things were paid for when they were built, okay? And he rented some of those warehouses and he had some warehouses that were sitting empty and they would never go down on the rent. And then once I talked to the real estate agent, he explained it to me that they claim these as losses. And this is something that I do in my company, a lesson I learned from my landlord many, many years ago. So if you're making money over here and you have some losses over here, this can offset the income over here to a degree. And there's a way that you can create losses and create deductions and set companies up because some people are just setting up some companies just for deductions. That's the only purpose these companies exist for. Mac Daddy Assets exist for deductions only. There is no goal for Mac Daddy Assets to make any money. None. Mac Daddy Assets job is to create six figures of tax deductions for me each year. That's the job of Mac Daddy Assets. I'm not trying to make any money out of that company. I got Savage Consulting Services, makes money. Um, Cameron Media Arts makes money and those two make like 90% of the income. So I don't need for Mac Daddy Assets to make any money. And I'm giving you the real sauce here, but here's where so many people 
go wrong. So many people are looking for a shortcut. They're looking for a scam. They're looking for something quick, fast, and easy. They're looking for something that's not gonna require a lot out of them. They're looking for something super easy, super quick, and they don't want to create the entity, like, you know, creating a holding company, creating an operating companies, managing this, having the employees, and all this other stuff. This is a different level of stress that I have, but I got a question. What's more stressful, managing money or being broke? Which is more stressful? Being broke is way more stressful than doing what I gotta do. Like today, uh, I had a, a death in the family, and today I kinda just took back a moment to reflect and to chill, and I could do that. I didn't have to ask my boss for some time off. I didn't have to ask, I didn't have to go anywhere. I just like, you know, man, that, that's horrible, this happened. And we're gonna take a moment to reflect. We're going to take a moment to look and remember and understand what this person meant to me and go from there. So one of the things that you guys have got to understand, America is a paperwork game. And if you get nothing else out of this video, you get that, it's a paperwork game. If your documents are in order, you are good. You are good. But if your documents are not in order, mm, like you no, know, 70% of black folks and Af and Latinos did not apply for any of this PP money because their documents were not in order. They didn't have their documents in order. And this is one of the things I've been talking about, I've been screaming, get your paperwork together, get your holding company, get your operating companies, get your EINs, get your corporate banking, get all that stuff together. And a lot of you are going to get, y'all, you're going to miss out. Just keep it a buck. You're going to miss out because your paperwork ain't in order and you are gonna miss out on some extraordinary stimulus because your paperwork ain't in order because you don't wanna do the things that you require. Like I said, I'm not worried about Joe Biden. I wish Joe Biden a long and healthy presidency. I'm not worried about Joe Biden. Joe Biden? Ain't even on my mind. You know what's on my mind? Building this business, making more money. That's what's on my mind. Not trying to dodge or skip or put it in low gear so I can avoid Joe Biden. I'm not worried about him. I'm not worried about him at all. And if you were playing the corporate game, you wouldn't be worried about Joe Biden at all. Google, uh, Berkshire Hathaway, which is a holding company, incidentally, paid $3.5 billion in taxes. And that sounds like a lot of money. But guess how much money they made? 600 billion. And if you calculate 3.5, that's not 1%. That's not 1% of the total overall revenue that they brought in. Not even 1%. So once again, you got a choice. I'm gonna get in my Bernie Mac mode. America, you can play the corporate citizen game or you can keep getting. It's your choice. It's on you. It's on you. So that's all I got for you. For those of you who want to be a corporate citizen, the link's below. You can enroll in the corporate citizen and you can start to learn how to do all of this fantastic tax strategy stuff and build businesses, make money and have a better life. So that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next one.